This is Quick Tips from the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. In most installations, you're going to actually have to end up cutting the last panel down. Um, so we ran all the way across the roof deck and the likelihood of you having an 18 inch wide panel work or whatever width you choose is slim to none. Um, so on this, our pan actually measures 11 inches. So first we're going to make a mark at 11. You have your 11 inch mark there. That's going to be your fold line since that's what you, uh, you want your finished panel at. And you're going to add an inch and three quarter to that. So in this case it's 12 and three quarter. And then same thing over here. You wanna, you're going to want to mark out top and bottom. Um, if your roof isn't perfectly square, you can actually kind of tweak it from top to bottom. Uh, in this particular instance, we're 11 inches on both. So we're gonna mark again at 11. We've got our fold line and then we're gonna go 12 and three quarter. And that's gonna be our cut line. In this case, we can actually use just a four foot level since these are short panels. Um, so I'm gonna draw a line all the way across on my cut mark. Obviously on, on longer panels, you're most likely gonna have to use either a chalk line to mark this out, or you're gonna have to, um, another thing you can do when you get down to smaller rips, you can actually take your, uh, your speed square and use the notches on that if it lands right and run all the way up the panel like that. So typically I like to mark just the single mark first. So that way you only have one mark, you know where you're gonna be cutting at. Um, had it happen multiple times where you mark both out, somebody runs up on the job, they grab the panel and they cut the wrong line and now you're short of panel. All right, so now that we have everything marked out, we're gonna take our double cuts. Uh, if you take a look at the double cuts, you have the, the little blade, the uh, oscillating blade that comes up and down. That's gonna be um, to the edge of it. Either edge is gonna be your finished line. So in this particular case, since we wanna cut on the line, we're gonna be setting up right here. Yeah, so now that we have our cut, we're gonna go through and draw our fold line onto the panel. And then what I typically like to do, you have your red and green hand snips, uh, your right hand and your left hand. With the actual panel itself, on this end, I'm gonna be taking my red hand snip and just nicking right on the actual cut, or the fold line that you have there. And then you're gonna have to use your green hand snips on the other side. And what this does, when you snip that, it already starts kind of like the natural bend process. All right, so the next step, uh, we're gonna be taking our roller bender. In this particular case, we're gonna be setting it at inch and three quarter depth uh, to fold our panel up. So you can use the, uh, the dial on the side to set it, and then you also wanna check it with your uh, tape measure as well. And also, since you have this fold mark, you can actually take the roller bender put it up on the panel before you start bending and just make sure that you're on both of your lines. So then from there, now that we know that that's correct, you're gonna wanna take the panel and flip it over. And then you're gonna be running uh, the three wheels down, the single wheel up. Um, I would recommend a, at least a two to three wheel roller bender. Uh, they do make roller benders are a little bit uh, less expensive with one wheel and they don't stay, uh, they don't stay square on the panel. All right, so once you get your roller bender set on your depth, you can kind of start rolling the actual panel up itself. And 
and you want to start off with just a small crease. All right, and now that you have this folded up almost to the 90, you can go through with a smaller set of uh, either three inch or six inch hand, uh, hand benders and tweak the areas that still need bent up. Mainly like on the ends right here, you can even do it by hand most of the time just to get it up to a straight 90. And then your panel's ready to install. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.